AOC, you can put on notice. Someone's coming for you. They've got you in their sights. And you better watch out because your seat may not be safe. Welcome to Escaping the Echo Chamber. Aaron Comey here, just out here in Brooklyn, New York City, enjoying the weather. Finally, you know, get to breathe. Uh, so, yeah, I was watching, going through social media this morning, saw an ad on Twitter. I, at first I heard rumblings about this ad. Then I had the opportunity to actually see the ad. And once I saw the ad, I was like, wow. I mean, it's like there's no subtlety, there's no, there's no subtext, like this is directly, AOC is being targeted, they're coming after AOC, this person that did this ad, and um, so let me tell you about the candidate. It's a young black man, uh, he might be a former army, army chaplain, I don't know too much about him. Do you know why I don't know too much about him? Because his entire, <laughs> because his entire ad is about AOC. Now you may say, listen, don't laugh. You know, you've got, to, you, you've got to talk about your opponent and what their weaknesses are. Yes, I understand that you may have some ads that are talking about your opponent. There's only one thing, only one slight problem. He's not running against AOC. He's not even running in New York. This guy is running in Arizona. He's running for Congress in Arizona and his entire ad is about AOC here in New York. And his policies, are going to be great in you know restoring faith freedom and something or other and um what's his name um i'm trying to remember his name because in the ad he says aoc's name more times than his own he says his name once aoc's name four times aoc is more prominently displayed displayed in this ad than he is and it's his ad. So this guy who's running in Arizona decided to do an ad about AOC and how AOC needs to be stopped and AOC's agenda and it's, it, 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 it's just some clown, absolute clown nonsense. Now, I don't know if he's a sincere individual and he just has a horrible, you know, campaign consultant, um, or, or whoever put that video together. I don't know. I don't know if that's his brainchild or somebody else's brainchild. I have a hunch because he's one of Kimberly Clasics people. So um, it, it, it is very likely that she's behind that foolishness. And he's actually running in a blue district from what I've seen. Um, if you look at his, his Twitter page, according to his Twitter page, he's running in the ninth district. It's absurd that you have this brand of celebrities now, of these celebrity politicians, um, and not that they were celebrities beforehand, but that's all they are. They're just trying to be, um, just get headlines, they're just trying to get attention, get money, and it's taking the grift to a whole new level. Because quite frankly, the political game has been a grift for a long time, and now you've got people that have no policy, they're not even trying to pretend to solve problems. They're just pretending, they're just trying to get you worked up into your emotions about some culture war uh, or some, 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 some emotional issue that they don't even have authority or jurisdiction over if they were elected. And so once you, once you care about that issue, that's what they want on, that's what they get you worked up on, and then they get into office, ideally, and do nothing. And in some cases, they're not even, it seems like this new class, they're not even trying to get into office. They're just trying to get your money. That's it. They want you to donate to them so that they can pay off their, their teams, their consultants. It's a grift. It's a, it's an absolute, it's an absolute grift. And I'm like, this is, this isn't even funny. Well, yeah, it is still funny. It's, it's funny. It's not funny for the, the, the people that are actually giving them their money especially if they're i mean if you're giving them money that you can actually use to take care of yourselves and your families like have a clue please stop stop take care of your family because these idiots aren't winning jack they're not going to do jack so just stop just stop please get help um but it's 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 really absurd. Um, what's going on? The the ridiculousness. 
of people that aren't even, they're not even trying to pretend that they're serious candidates. They're talking about a whole bunch of nonsense, using buzzwords, and just trying to play on your emotions to get you to donate to them. And then they just use your money, fund your money to their, to their buddies, their campaign teams, pay off these consultancy firms. Like that's what it is. It's a grift, it's a con game. And the sooner people wake up, the sooner we can get rid of those morons and the sooner we can actually start getting people at least running that actually care about issues and have some type of plausible solutions you know uh, but yeah oh yeah by the way the guy's name is Alex Stovall he's running in Arizona and his campaign commercial is all about AOC and it makes no sense because he's not from New York he's not running in the Bronx he's not running in Queens he's not running in Congressional District 14 in New York City He's running in Arizona, either the 9th or the 7th district. I don't think he knows yet. Thanks for checking out the episode. As always, give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. Um, and don't forget to, uh, hey, if, 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 you, if you actually like him and you're planning to donate against him, to, to donate to him right away because AOC needs to go, okay, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. Please, give me a thumbs down. Um, and, you know, yeah, give me a thumbs down and write why in, in the section. And like, I don't know what to do for you because if, if you think he has anything to do with AOC or any, <laughs> has any impact or that AOC in New York has anything to do with his campaign in Arizona, please give me a thumbs down, please do. I'll see you next time.